Welcome to the Pink Lemon Cookies tutorial on how to decorate your Halloween cookie kit. First, with the seam side up of our piping bag, we're going to cut the tip off. So remember to start small. You do not want to cut big at first. You can always cut more, but start small at first. Next, we're going to pipe the outline of our pumpkin cookie. A tip for having clean icing lines is to squeeze the bag with even pressure as you kind of lift the tip and let the icing fall onto the cookie. When you're done piping your outline, make sure to let that sit for one to two minutes to kind of just crust over and harden. And that way when you fill the icing with flood, it prevents it from overflowing. Apply a generous amount of icing to the outer two sections of your pumpkin and use a scribe tool or a toothpick to really jiggle and shake the icing around and this helps get it really smooth. If you notice little bumps, you can add more icing as long as it's wet and kind of shake it around and it should melt and then pipe a stem onto your cookie with the black icing. We'll come back to your pumpkin cookie later, but let it dry under a fan right now while we outline and flood the ghost cookie. I'm using a cookie turntable to spin my cookie around and reach different directions, but at home you can place your cookie on a folded napkin and kind of spin the napkin around to get the same effect. Wiggle that cookie to get it super smooth and don't forget to pop any air bubbles that you see. Black icing is great to add eyeballs to any of your cookies, but don't be afraid to also use sprinkles if you're not comfortable with piping icing on. For the skull cookie, just squeeze some black icing around the center of the cookie and use a small spatula or the back of a spoon to kind of just lay it flat and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to pipe over it, but kind of get it around where the eyeballs will be. And then you can take your white icing and pipe some circles. Oops, it's okay if you mess up. Don't worry, it's just icing and you can always scrape it off and try again the outside border of your skull cookie and then remember to let it sit before doing your flood. If you're having difficulties squeezing the icing to flood the cookie, don't forget you can always cut the hole a little bit bigger and this allows more icing to go through and it also saves your hand from hand cramps. For this cookie I made the royal icing a little bit thicker and this is just to show that even if you squeeze the icing out and it looks a little bit lumpy, all you have to do is continuously kind of move and shake the icing around and it will level itself to smooth consistency. To make the spider web in the next step, we're going to be using a wet on wet technique. So you wanna make sure the icing of the skull is not crusted over. Use the black icing to pipe three curved lines and then use your toothpick to drag the lines out, dragging through the wet and black icing and it creates this awesome, really cool looking spider web effect. As your skull cookie dries, let's go back to the pumpkin cookie. Since the icing in the outer sections have had time to dry a little, you can flood the inside section and it won't melt into the outer sections creating this 3D hump look. Use your creativity and apply a face to your ghost. I'm putting on this spooky open mouth. Next, you can get your pumpkin royal icing transfer and pipe a little bit of icing on the back and set it very gently onto your cookie. You can also pipe some hands like the pumpkin is being held by the ghost. Just get creative and make it your own. I'm adding eyelashes to my ghost, but make sure if you do this step, you test first that your icing bag hole isn't too big. Last, let's finish the skull cookie by piping little nostril holes and then piping straight lines down the bottom. You can also use the orange icing to pipe a little crack in that skull. And that's a wrap. Don't forget these few reminders especially the last two, which are it's okay to make mistakes and start over. And don't forget to be creative and have fun and make it your own. Thanks.